Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a 12 by 24 swipe. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using the Artist Loft Premix Ready to Pour paints in old gold, black, and titanium white. And I'm going to be using their silicone oil as well. I went ahead and put about 8 ounces of paint into these cups here. I'm putting about 5 drops of silicone oil in each cup. And I ended up adding a little bit more white to this um, white cup here and three more drops of silicone oil because I realized I was going to need a little bit more paint. So I'm just going in and giving that a good stir, making sure that oil is nice and incorporated in my colors here. So here I'm see I'm adding a little bit more white and a few more drops of oil. And has anyone else resorted to painting with dish gloves yet let me know down in the comments I just um, don't want to waste my nitrile gloves and I know that the healthcare workers need them right now so I thought hey for acrylic pours I'll just wear my uh, old kitchen gloves and then just wash them keep washing them and it actually worked out really good too so I'm just going in and laying my colors down here my plan is to swipe from the middle and um, what I'm gonna do is swipe with black I'm just gonna pour black right in the middle on top of that white there I'm not gonna add any silicone to that one and then I'm gonna go in with some wax paper and swipe to the left and then swipe to the right and you can get these paints at Michaels I like them because um, they dry with a really glossy shine or sheen to them um, they're really really easy to use too you just have to shake the bottle and go you don't have to do any mixing and the gold is a really pretty metallic if you guys have watched any of my other videos you know i absolutely love my metallic colors so i'm just going to keep adding my paint here and then we'll go in and do the swipe And I have a few other videos using these paints as well, doing uh, traveling paint kiss acrylic pours. I'll be sure to link those at the end card screen of this video. Just click that and it'll take you straight to them. They turned out really pretty, but I wanted to switch it up. Um, I know my favorite technique is the traveling paint kiss, but I wanted to try a swipe. I saw Olga at Smart Art Materials do this on her channel. I'll link that video down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, just click it down in the description. But she did a similar swipe and I thought I'm going to give that a try because I had the Artist Loft silicone oil and the Artist Loft premix paints. So I actually did a test run of a swipe previous the day before I did this one and that one did not turn out good. So I had to practice a little bit. So now I'm just going in with that black straight from the bottle, no silicone. I'm taking my wax paper and just giving it a swipe. I like to make sure there's about a pencil width of contact before I start pulling down at a slow, even pace. And you're going to see those cells start to develop. It's really fun watching them grow. And I'm going to go in and torch this as well. I actually had my torch in timeout because I started a small fire with it once and that actually really scared me. It's not funny, um, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to be brave and fill it back up and use it again. So I'm going to do a few swipes on the side, on the right hand side here. I ended up losing a little bit of contact on this bottom right corner. So I just ripped off a little piece of wax paper and was going in and swiping that area. So it just kind of looked similar to what I had going on already in the piece. And then I'll go in with my torch and you'll really see the cells start to develop. Check it out. This was really cool. I was like, oh man, I forgot how fun it is to actually use the torch. And what had happened to me was a freak accident. Um, I like to work over wax paper and I was working on some a resin project and I got too close to the wax paper and it caught on fire. So always keep a fire extinguisher next to your art station. So here's a little close up, but check it out. Look at how cool these cells are. There's just so much fun detail in this one. And off camera, I ended up doing a few more swipes in the middle section. I didn't like that um, big section of negative space, and there was a few really ugly cells in there. I tried to take a uh, 
spoon and scoop those out, but that didn't really work. So I went in and did a few more swipes in the middle section and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all nice and dry. And here it is, all nice and dry. It dried really nicely. There was no cracking or crazing or anything like that. And um, I'll show you in the center section. I just went in off camera um, because that negative space was kind of bothering me and took my wax paper and did a few swipes going up and down um, in the opposite direction of how I did my first swipes. And that gave me some fun cells in that section. I didn't use the torch on it or anything like that. Because like I said, there was a few cells that showed up that I didn't really like. And I tried to kind of use a pipette and suck the cells, you know, stick it on there and suck the paint up, but it didn't work out. And then I tried to go in with a spoon and scoop it out. And I was like, no, I better just go in with some wax paper and swipe it. And I ended up really liking how it turned out. Um, the negative space, like I said, I just didn't like it on this one, but I think it turned out really fun. It's got so many cool details up close. Check it out right here. There's like a little three leaf clover that showed up and that gold is really nice and shimmery and metallic. The camera just wasn't really picking it up, but it's got a lot of fun details. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys and I hope you're all doing good. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to show you what it looks like hanging up vertically too. I think I prefer this one horizontally, but I like it both ways. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'll link all the materials I use down below in the description box. And I'll link a few of my favorite other videos that I've made with these paints at the end card screen right here. Just click that and it'll take you straight to the video. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Bye.